up guys it's on that place but you can come back to another video and i'd really appreciate if you could subscribe because trying to upload videos on this um winter period in football is really it's really a struggle like i have to upload two videos a day mostly because example last week i have to upload two fpl and game of prediction video on a what's it what tuesday night how to get about tuesday night now i'm off school and it's still hard to upload i'm sitting here on a friday night i have to upload two videos by today night and Oh, it is not easy, it's not easy, so I'd really appreciate if you could hit that subscribe button, but let's just forget about it, but like, I'm still gonna base my winter excuse, hence the reason I got so bad in my wants to watch predictor last week, I actually managed to get only one correct, oh, but let's just get through it from the from the beginning, from the defender, let's see what went wrong, so the, I, I think the main reason I got so many wrong this week is because I went full on Manchester, I literally Two United players and two City players, both of them bland. The one I didn't pick from Manchester is the only one who got points. So let's just start from the bottom. Luke Shaw, I picked him for the Manchester from Manchester. Luke Shaw from Manchester. And I really thought that he was a regular start instead of Alex Tellez because he started against City. But it looks like they're more rotational between him and Tellez. So I think both of them are ones to avoid because I'm pretty sure next week Luke Shaw is gonna go and have a go. I don't like be managers who rotate. It's so hard to make your FPL decision when managers rotate. So I don't really blame myself there. I didn't get a minute, zero pointer, and it was really frustrating because I have my team too. Uh, the first midfielder, uh, his teammate Bruno Fernandes, he had a brilliant game actually, but he didn't get any goals. I was surprised because they went, they scored three, and he got none. He's usually like the main face of all the United's attacks, but didn't get anything. But, I mean, I don't mind, but everyone has him, so it's not really a fail, if I'm being honest. Um, and the next one, I picked the only one that got points, and it wasn't even that much points. It was Kevin De Bruyne. I don't even know why. He got two bonus points for some reason. I don't even know why. And he got managed to get four points, had him captain. I was really frustrated at the night. I was watching what's wrong, game. He didn't do anything. I mean, he had that chance, and then we were across the ball to Gun Gun, and Gun Gun missed that header. I think maybe that's the bonus point that came from and I was really frustrated when Gundogan missed that. I thought no points for Kevin De Bruyne. I messed up my captain again. But the next day I checked my FP like four points magically. I think it's for that Gundogan ball and it's probably for that one. It's probably for that one. And then uh, uh, that we picked Shaw Fernandez. Oh, the first attacker I picked, the Manchester attacker. I picked Gabriel Jesus. Did not go good. I really expected City to go Ryan on West Brom. I really expected better impact. Maybe four, three, five pass. I didn't expect a one one draw. No one expected that. I went double up on City and I regret it. Should have gone for Gundogan and Raheem Sterling or something. <laughs> but I don't really trust Pep rotation anymore. I'm not gonna pick many City players from now on except De Bruyne maybe sometimes. And that attack, the second attack I went for was Jamie Ward. It was very frustrating because they were supposed to have a penalty, like the referee pointed to the spot, and then it turned out that VR was saying that he made a mistake, so he had to redo the spot kick and say it's not a penalty. It was really frustrating. Barney could have came away with a penalty goal. He could, a penalty goal would have got, gone on with some bonus points, I'm guessing, maybe two bonus points. That would be pretty cool. But let's stop talking about the negative from my last week. Let's just get into the This week is a game of 13. Last week I messed it up. I want to double check on set. Game of 14 wants to watch let's get straight into it so the defender is always tough as i say because not many teams keep clean sheets i mean obviously yesterday there was a goalless drop between villa and who was it villa and villa there was a goalless drop between villa and someone else i forgot it was a goalless drop between villa and burnley obviously burnley are part of the goalless draw i mean maybe if you want to go for a burnley defender but really teams want to slack Burnley just sit back. Sometimes a goal will just get one of the goals. And if one goal goes in, none of the Burnley defenders are ready to get assists. So that's it for the Burnley defenders. So this week, I just went for... I'm not really sure the defender. It's always tough. I can't go for Chilwa right now because Chelsea are in form. I usually go for Bellerin because he gets assists. But he's not... He's suspended, obviously. And maybe Trent's back is gone. But the player I've gone for is the Liverpool left back. I've gone for Andrew. Robertson. I just think that he is, since like, this season, he's been the better attacking player than Trent. And maybe they're playing Palace, they could even get a clean sheet. I know Palace have been good lately, but Liverpool usually puts a few past Palace. And 
And then Spurs, he nearly got an assist where Salah just shot straight at the keeper. That was very frustrating for Robertson owners. Obviously, don't have him, but I think he will get an assist in this game. That's why he's my game week. 13, defender wants to watch. And the first midfielder I'm picking for this week is a Man United midfielder who bl- blanked last week. It's Bruno Fernandes. I just think that he, he it was his first game this season. He went with like a goal or assist. And I really think that it can go on for long. Who United playing next? They're playing Leeds. Leeds are a good side, obviously. But I really think that he's blanked this week. He'll want to get something next week. And I mean, if... Managers are moving off their team. I don't really know what they're doing. It's his first game. He blanked. It was surprising for him to black, obviously. But I always knew Bruno Fernandes was also like a defensive type of player as well. Because I remember that game against Brighton and to Crystal Palace. He was playing more of like a center mid slash CDM. So I always knew some games he'd just play in that position. And maybe he'll get a long ball assist like he got in Brighton. And maybe score a penalty. Because United always score penalties. You know what I mean? So I've also gone for Bruno Fernandes there. And the second midfielder I'm going to pick, it's a tough one to pick the midfielder because I wanted to go for a bombing, I really do, but I can't really go on the bombing train. Obviously, I have an FPL team, that's only because I'm an Arsenal fan, if I'm being completely honest with you guys. But I don't really want to put a bombing in there for you guys to go ahead and put a bombing and then he blanks and Arsenal play terribly because right now also aren't the best side of being honest. But maybe single turn, a bombing will become good and Sometimes I can put him in the videos like this, but this week he is in my video. I'm going for a Spurs man, I'm going for Hugman Son. Because Hugman Son against Leicester City has been outstanding. He scored, um, what was the stat? 1.2 goals every time he's played Leicester City. That, that's a big stat, 1.2 goals. I mean, we've even seen in the past, it was that season where they scored 5 against them and Leicester scored 4. We know this game has goals and I think this will be another goal game. So I'm going to go for Hugman Son, and Hugman Son's on the form of his life right now. Spurs obviously not top of the league, thank God. Um, he might be my captain for this week as well. I want to captain Aubameyang because I don't know where Aubameyang is, but if Aubameyang scores, but I don't know if he will score. But if he scores, we know he gets some bonus points because last week he got plus four bonus points. That was impressive. I wish I captained but who captains Aubameyang at this point? I might I might captain Aubameyang, but right now my arm, my arm band goes to Son. Is it? Or is it Aubameyang? Yeah, it's Son. Yeah. My arm back goes to Son this week. There he is. He swaps it for De Bruyne. Had De Bruyne last week, obviously. And is that it for midfielders? Yes, it is. Okay, let's get into my two attackers this week. The two attackers was pretty tough to pick because it's not usually the attackers in the goal season. Mainly, I mean, you can go for someone like Patrick Bamford, but they're playing United. I don't really want to trust him there. No, I've gone, I'm gonna go stay with my own pick. I've gone for Callum Wilson. I know Fulham look good right now, but Callum Wilson has basically scored every game for Newcastle. I don't really remember a game he hasn't scored where the team hasn't scored itself. So I think you really will get points there against Fulham. They, I, I know they're a good side for them, but I, I think Newcastle are a little bit better there. They might even snatch a win here. I think it'll be a draw, actually. I don't think it will end up like the Brighton game goalless. I think they will score some goals. I think Carl Nelson will be one of them. And the last attacker I put, the last attacker I put is pretty tough because right now I'm looking at it, and I kind of want to change my choice. I really do. It's a tough one. It is a very very tough one. I really want to change my choice, but should I? I don't really know wait it's gonna stay my pick so my second strike i put to sebastian Haller. the only reason is chelsea look pretty poor this season and they usually lose against newcastle and i'm sure west ham are just gonna get three because of chelsea sponsors for some reason i mean even last year chelsea were on the form of their life and west ham just went and beat them for some reason so yeah that's why i went for sebastian Haller. and i don't really trust bowen i mean i do but i think sebastian Haller is a man up top he's gonna get goals you know what i mean and that's the end of my game week 13, 13, no, 14, 14, did I say 13 in the beginning? Oh, this, this, this really sucks. Okay, 14, wants to watch, and if you guys enjoyed that video, please hit that subscribe button, because as I said, this football winter period is really hard to get the videos uploaded on time, because usually the video, one, this video, FPL video, will be uploaded by two days ago, and the other FPL video will be uploaded 
yesterday, but today I'm uploading it on a Friday, and the football's tomorrow. I mean, usually YouTubers do that, but I prefer to put it two days before. But yeah, this is going to be on Friday, because I have to upload on Tuesday as well, which really sucks. But that's the end of my video. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit that subscribe button. Yeah, I'd have this for TikTok.